Friends, my name is Swati TGT Maths from RK Memorial Senior Secondary School. So today I'm going to discuss with you all chapter 4 of class 10th that is quadratic equations. In this chapter, we are going to study the general form of the quadratic equation, the roots, zeros or solution of quadratic equation which can be find out by three methods by factorization method which we call it as splitting the middle term by completing the square method and by quadratic formula and the third thing which we are going to discuss is the nature of the roots of the quadratic equation which depends on the term d which we call it as discriminant so one by one we are going to discuss each of these topics in detail so first topic that is the general form of quadratic equation general form of quadratic equation as we have already studied in quadratic polynomials that the highest degree of the variable is 2 highest degree of variable is 2 so the general form of quadratic equation is of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equals to 0. Here the highest degree of the variable x is 2. So this is the general form of quadratic equation where a, b and c they are real numbers and a can never be equals to 0 because if a will become 0 so this term will get eliminated and you are left with bx plus c is equals to 0 and here you can see the highest degree of this variable x is 1 so this becomes a linear equation now to find out the roots of this quadratic equation, roots, zeros or you can say the solution of quadratic equation, they will be 2. As the highest power of the variable is 2, so you can find out the two solutions of this quadratic equation. As we can see that in this linear equation, the highest degree is 1, so the solution will be only 1. And if I am talking about the quadratic equation, so there will be 2 roots or zeros or the solution will be 2, which we call it as alpha and beta. So this was all about the general form of quadratic equation. Let us take an example for it. If I will say 4x square plus 3x plus 2 is equals to 0. This is a quadratic equation as it is of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equals to 0 where now you'll compare these two equations a will be equals to 4 b will be equals to 3 and c will be equals to 2 now if i'll say 4x square plus 3 is equals to 0 this is again a form of quadratic equation because if i'll compare it with the general form so, when you will compare, you will get a is equals to 4. Now, there is no term which contains a variable x. So, I can write this equation as 4x square plus 0 into x plus 3 is equals to 0. Now, if I will compare these two equations, 
you will get b is equals to 0 and c is equals to 3. Let us take one more example. 3x square is equals to 0. Again, it is a form of quadratic equation because here a will be equals to 3, b will be equals to 0 and c will be equals to 0. So, I can say that a can never be equals to 0 but b or c can be 0. So, this was all about the general form of quadratic equation. Now, we will proceed further.